want to go to school. Mm -hmm. So I so I can become village NS. NS. Yeah, so I can become NS. <laughs> That's okay, you're doing well. So I can become NS. So I can become NS to help my village. <laughs> So that I can become a nurse, so that I can become a village, my dear, you are 100% right. Because it is said when you educate a woman, when you educate a girl child, you educate a whole nation far greater than a village, greater than a nurse. On this note, we want to wish all women out there happy Mother's Day. We love you, we love you, we love you so much. Stay tuned. So dear friends in Christ, today is a fifth Sunday of Easter, year B. And Jesus said, He is the true vine. I am the vine. There I am, saints of Jesus. Last week he said, I am the good shepherd. And today he says, I am the vine. You are the branches. My father is the vine. Is it vine dresser or vine dresser? Viner, sir. The vine dresser. And he said, Without me, you can do nothing. Paul will say, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Stay tuned for today's reflection. And so, dear friend, today is the fifth Sunday of Easter. Year B. We are called by Mother Church to stay connected to Jesus who is a divine. I guess if Jesus were to be in our time, he would have said, I am the mobile phone. Because we know how important mobile phone is to us. These days we use the mobile phone for banking, to make calls, for messages, use it as a watch. These days most of us don't even use watches. We use our mobile phone. And so basically we use the mobile phone for everything. He would have said, apart from me, you can do nothing. We are glued to our mobile phones. Every some, when some people are walking, they are pressing their mobile phone, they are walking, they are pressing their mobile phone and then knock a tree and fall into garden. <laughs> that is how converted people are to their mobile phone. And Jesus would have used that to say, Apart from me, you can do nothing. But he used a vine. And I guess people at the time of Jesus understood this beautifully. Because within the Jewish tradition, vine was metaphorically used as an image of Israel. For instance, in Psalm 80, it says, He brought a vine out of Egypt. To plant it, he drove out the nations. Before it, you cleared the ground. It took root and spread through the land. You can also see a bunch of grapes or a vine on a Jewish coin dating from 132 to 135 AD. Basically, dear friends, the Jewish people were seen as the Lord's vineyard. 
but a time came where they failed to bear a good fruit. You can confer Isaiah chapter 5 verse 1 to 2. The people failed. Instead of yielding grapes, they yielded wild grapes. And so dear friends, it was against this backdrop that Jesus made today's statement in the gospel reading that he is the true vine. Here is the true vine because the people failed. They failed and they were making it very difficult for the realization of God's plan of salvation. Because of that, God decided to send his only begotten son, Jesus, the true vine, so that through him, God's plan of salvation can come to fruition. He told his disciples in the gospel reading of today that without him, they can do nothing. Without him, they cannot bear fruit. He encouraged them today to stay connected to him, the vine. In the first reading, we have seen that when the disciples of Jesus maintained that closeness and allowed themselves to be influenced by the Holy Spirit, they were able to bear good fruits, the fruit of tolerance and love. They allowed Paul to join them, though from the beginning they were afraid of him, later on they allowed him to join them. They were open-minded. As a result of that, many new members were added to their number. So dear friends of hope, remember that in baptism we've all been joined to Jesus Christ, the true vine, and we have become the branches. We can only bear fruit when we remain close, connected to Jesus, who is the true vine. The question you should be asking yourself, the question I should be asking myself is whether I am still connected to Jesus. Are you connected to Jesus? What kind of fruit are you bearing as a Christian? We are expected to bear fruit, fruit that will last. It is when we maintain our relationship with Jesus that we can bear fruit, that we can make positive impact in the world. As a mother, do you want to make a meaningful impact in the life of your children? Do you want to make a meaningful impact in the world? Then you have to maintain your relationship with Jesus. As St. Paul says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. May God the Father help us to maintain that relationship with the Son. Let us abide in Jesus so that he will abide in us. In that case, we can bear fruit, fruit that will last. God bless you. Happy Mother's Day to all our beautiful women out there. God bless you.